In this video, we'll look at graphing the reciprocal function. In particular, this will be a quadratic function that has two zeros. So the function is f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. We're going to graph 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. But to do that, we're also going to work with the original function. We're, in fact, going to graph both the original and the reciprocal. So first, let's factor f of x. You'll want to watch a video on factoring if you're not familiar with what I'm doing here, which is what multiplies to negative 3 and adds to 2. The numbers are 3 and negative 1. So when you factor f of x, it's not the reciprocal yet, it's just factoring this original equation, and we factored it down to x plus 3 and x minus 1, which means there are zeros at negative 3 comma 0 and 1 comma 0. We can find the axis of symmetry by taking the middle of those two zeros, that is, you add them together and divide by 2, so negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 divided by 2, you get negative 1, which should make sense, it's right in between the two zeros. That's the x value of the vertex, or the axis of symmetry. Where's the y value of the vertex, or the optimal value? Let's sub that in to either equation. You could sub it into the standard form or the factored form. I'm going to use the factored form. Sub in the x value of the vertex. You get negative 1 plus 3 times negative 1 minus 1, which is 2 times negative 2. So you get negative 4. So the vertex of the original is at negative 1, the x value of the vertex, negative 4. That's the x value of the vertex. Okay, let's graph the original. So, we need to make a graph. I'm going to take a moment. Make it right here. Don't forget to label everything, arrows and a y for the y-axis. And the same thing, you'll need like that. You'll need to put a nice straight line with arrows and a label for the x-axis. Don't forget a nice even scale. Let's go to, you can go up by two. Just make sure you label every second tick at least. Not much happening here, just labeling the graph to make sure I present good communication. Okay, and now let's label, let's put this graph on. We know its zeros are at negative 3, 0, and 1, 0. Those are the zeros. And we know the vertex is at negative 1, negative 4. It's down here. That's all we need to graph for the purpose of this question is just the vertex and the zeros and we'll do our best to connect them together. Make sure this looks like a U and not a V. Parabolas never have sharp curves. They always curve around in a U shape. There's our parabola, our original function with its two zeros. Now we'll use it and some other information to graph the reciprocal one over that parabola. So the first thing are the vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptotes of the reciprocal occur at the zeros of the original. So this thing had zeros here and here. Those same locations are where the reciprocal has vertical asymptotes. All reciprocal functions, one over anything, have a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. And they also share the points where the y value equals one, where the y value equals negative one. There's multiple spots, we'll do them. Here's where the y is a height of one, this is y of one. The reciprocal has to pass through here and here, both places where the function originally has a height of one. And also where it has a height of negative one, that's here, at negative one, y, and here at also at negative one for y. So those x's have to be shared. We also need the reciprocal vertex. When you're talking about the reciprocal function, its vertex is at the same x value, 
but take the y value and make it a reciprocal. That's literally what a reciprocal function is. It's the y values are just one over. So this vertex in the reciprocal function is negative one comma negative a quarter. Well, now we can graph the reciprocal. Let's start by putting this information on the graph. So we have vertical asymptote at x equals negative 3. And we have another vertical asymptote at x equals 1. We have a horizontal asymptote. Again, somehow you have to make these ticks clear so the reader can see there's some sort of asymptote going on here at y equals 0. And then we're going to make sure to pass through those points at y is 1 and y is negative 1. And then finally the reciprocal vertex is at negative 1, negative a quarter, right up here. Okay, so got to close in on both the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. So this function stays really close to the horizontal asymptote. Doesn't do much until it comes up to the shared point. I almost missed. We'll stay close, then come up to this shared point, and then again close in on an asymptote, this time the vertical asymptote. On the bottom side here, you're stuck between this asymptote. Now stay close and make sure to come up through that shared point. Then go through that reciprocal vertex. Come down to the other shared point and back down. And then lastly, on this side, you're close to that asymptote. You go through the shared point here and close in on the next asymptote without touching coming back up. And let's label. Here's my original parabola and here's my reciprocal, 1 over f at x, which has three pieces. So how did we graph the reciprocal of a quadratic function with two zeros? We graphed the original equation and then we used its properties to determine the properties of the reciprocal. And there you have it.